Hello, my name is Ashwish Sharma. I welcome you all in series of Kotlin programming. Today we will discuss important topic and one of that fundamentals on data types. So as we all know, data types we are using uh, programming languages. Uh, it just uh, find out that uh, what type of value is going to be assigned to a variable. So data type basically refers to type and size of data which is associated with variables and functions. It is uh, used for declaration at the time of once you uh, assign certain value at the time of the definition part and uh, basically used for a declaration of memory location of variables uh, which determines the feature of data, what type of value uh, you are going to uh, assign to that memory location. So in Kotlin, everything is an object, uh, which means we call a uh, member function and its property on any variables. So Kotlin itself, uh, everything you treat like an object. Kotlin built in uh, data types. So these are some categories, number, character, boolean, array, and a string. So first uh, we have this number types. Number types of data, uh, which holds uh, only that number numeric that value which is assigned to a variable and we categorize it into uh, different uh, that data types like uh, number types is categorized into bytes short int long float and double so this is that size in bits eight bits means one byte two bytes four bytes eight bytes four bytes eight bytes so this is, and this is given range by it's having that minus 128 to 127. As uh, this one is minus 32768 to 32767 for short. So this is the way uh, you just uh, categorize uh, different data types and it's storage, that how much storage of memory we require. So in general, this, uh, that byte having eight bits and one byte and having the short is 16 bits means two bytes and four bytes long eight bytes and then float four bytes and double eight bytes. So this is the category of number types. Now next one is character data types. Characters are represented using the keyword key. Care, care types are, are declared using single quotes. And uh, here we have that care and four bits. Uh, that is a bit by size and that ranges from minus one to eight to one to seven. So here we have an example. Uh, we take this well, uh, value 1 equals to A, or uh, explicitly we just uh, find out that this is character type and the value 2 is having that A that is assigned to it. So using well means now you cannot change this, otherwise reassign error will be shown. If you take this pair, then pair is mutable and well is immutable. So you can change variable value when you are using well, and you cannot change the value when you are using well in Kotlin programming. Next type is uh, Boolean data types. Boolean data is represented using the type Boolean as we have true and false. So one bit for its storage and true or false is it's that data value, which is uh, for this given uh, Boolean data types. So here we have bell flag and we have that assign value is true. Two, one and zero, that's two is for one and zero is for false. Next one is array. Array in Kotlin are represented by array class. Arrays are created using library function. This is that library function array of and array constructor. Array has uh, get set function and the size property as well as some other useful member functions. So array, uh, we will talk lots of things uh, of array uh, in next upcoming videos. But here we have the simple that brief syntax and semantics of array. Creating array using uh, that library function array of. So the array of function creates array of wrapper types. And the item values are passed inside array of function like uh, one, two, three, which creates an array, one, two, and three. So this is that we have uh, one thing. And the elements of array, elements of array are accessed through uh, their index value. Array index, array index are starts from zero, as usual in most of the programming language. So here we have this uh, variable ID and we assign this array of and passing these values uh, through this array, through this library function array of, so one, two, three, four, five. Then uh, we assign this first ID that ID zero and last ID is one ID size minus one. So ID dot size minus one. 
So this is that from zero, start index is from zero and end index will be size minus one. So creating array using array uh, constructor. So creating an array using array constructor takes two argument. First is that size of the array. What, what exactly the size here, we have that five. And second argument is function, which is used to initialize and return the value of array elements given <coughs> in its index. So here we have i into two. So we start with zero. So zero into two, zero, then one, one into two, two, two into two, four, three into two, six, and four into two, eight. So this is the way uh, you may create array using uh, array constructor. So we have two options. One is uh, using array of uh, library function and passing value through that. And second one is using array constructor and we can uh, create an array uh, as far as that Kotlin programming and the fundamentals. Now, next one is a string. A string in Kotlin represented by string class, we having always that uh, double quotes, it's, it is uh, immutable, which means we cannot change the element in a string. So here we have an example of uh, that hello Java T point that we have that value assigned to this text. Types of the string, escaped strings, raw strings. So these two are types here. Escaped string is declared within double quotes like that. And may contain escape characters slash n, slash t, and slash p. So escape sequence character uh, is included. It may contain that like that. Well, text one, hello, Java T point, and text two, text three, different values we assign to it. Roy string is declared within the triple quotes like this. It's a multiple line. So it provides facility to declare a string in new lines and contains multiple lines as well. Welcome to Java T point. Roy string uh, cannot contain any step character. So uh, this uh, is important when uh, you face your Bible company interview, uh, these uh, questions might be asked with the fundamentals of Kotlin programming language, which is wonderful uh, alternative nowadays of Java programming. So thank you so much. Have a nice day.